Hello everyone, welcome to your daily card reading for November uh, 19th through, I, I'm realizing because I'm going to lose a day flying too, so let's do this 19th through November 21st, and then um, tomorrow I'm going to go to the Watt with a friend and we're going to do the filming there, and I've been working on pictures for um, that video, so you'll have that one coming out soon too. So anyway, um, I'm going to get on to the reading. I'm going to do five card reading, tree magic, um, past, present, future, and then um, a healing card, and then an overall message card, but a, a signifying card in the beginning from tree magic, Gillian Kim. So we have um, the baobab tree, resourcefulness, and it says, your thirst for knowledge will be answered by mystic thoughts in your subconscious. Huh. Interesting. It's almost like the resourcefulness of psychism, the baobab. Got this one again. And Cinebrite. Huh. So, we are kind of getting some repeat cards here. Um, past, present, future healing message. We have um, in the past things that uh, went <laughs> totally not what we expected. So, um, you just really think something, you're going to have this day go this way, you have this, uh, you know, plan, this. You, you feel like you're within this energy, this solid, stable thing, and then everything gets flipped around and something totally opposite happens from your expectations. So this is um, the past. And, uh, you know, again, always, it's not, that, it's not that we were wrong to expect what we were expecting. It's just that there were hidden factors that we either saw and we didn't realize how... Um, what the magnitude of them were, of the, the hidden factors, or uh, we just didn't even see them. So, um, so this is the past, and then the present we have Artica Windata, which is, um, you know, there's the, the three stages with her, one getting abused and picked on, one being alone, and then the other one where she really is set free and liberated with with community, with the people that she loves and um, has a totally different life. So um, this is present. It's interesting because when I put this one in the timing, it, because it is um, kind of a three-stager, uh, it's kind of hard to, to see, you know, which which stage is applying to, to the situation. Maybe I'll draw another car to see which which stage we're in with this because this is present okay da Vinci so I want to say well we're either in the second second stage where we're alone and we're working on our own or um, or we're, we're kind of in the third stage, but not, not to the degree that we 
that's our ideal. Uh, just because Da Vinci was kind of a loner, he was a Renaissance man. He did his thing. He was um, very independent, and um, he he spent a lot of time on his own. So, um, so I want to say that you know there there are people because he ha always had people around. There were always people there, and uh, he had you know great connections with people. But, um, you know, he, he wasn't married with a family and a, a really tight group of friends that he associated with for, you know, his whole life or whatever. And <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> She's on the chickens. Um, so, I do that too. I do it on the video. So <laughs> but anyway, um, so... Yeah, I, I mean, it is, there's no, there's, you're safe. There's the safety here. Whoever, whoever this is applying to, whatever, you know, this is talking about in the present tense with, with uh, Artika Waindata, they are safe. They're not being picked on. They're not being, you know, there's like kind of the, maybe being alone, maybe um, being independent. But that's okay. That's always, you know, a good part of the process of kind of unwinding from things. And, um, you know, that's what we need a lot of the time to get back to ourselves and to heal. But then um, there is there is the really strong, you know, the strong bond of, uh, of people and important relationships. And I'm just going to show you guys. Fuge is right here. This is my wild chicken that... Um, now sleeps in the chicken house, but she has come to join us, and she has to do with, um, uh, you know, a wild chicken leaving, leaving her group. It's interesting. It's very much like Artika Waindata, because um, she left the social group she was in, and Fuji also left the social group, but she, um, she had the uh, strength and ability and uh, resourcefulness to be able to do it on her own. Uh, whereas Artika Waindata was more in a jail situation versus um, versus Fuji here, who you know she she might have been picked on, but she wasn't really like you know captured. She was just wild, but she joined a flock and and became um, and she became my chicken. So she entered into my flock because she wanted to be a part of this community. She she just saw the chickens and she wanted to be a part of our group and she wanted to sleep in the chicken house and now she's a part of our group and she sleeps in our chicken house and when we move she's going to move with us and she's um you know she's my chicken and even when we now we have all these days where the the chickens have to be inside with um you know to be safe from the the komodo dragons and and she also she likes to be inside she wants to be with everybody you know so anyway uh, it's interesting, we have her coming here, she doesn't normally come around, but we're talking about the present tense, and um, and really being strong in, in moving from one life to another, and, um, and so I, I do see um, this probably very near coming in, because, because her presence, uh, you know, she... She also had, she kind of had uh, the two stages, just, well, actually, she also had that third stage, too. She, she was, took her time integrating. You know, she slept in the tree for the long time, but um, she, she was a part of our, our flock, slowly getting closer and closer. So, um, but we, we also have, I want to say, the Da Vinci here is, um, is really going to help us in this transition, so we are having our, our strength and our, um, our integrity and our strength and really kind of our, our centration, I want to say, like really knowing who we are and what we got to offer and, you know, kind of getting ready, gearing up for a new life with a new community. So um, then we have the future, and this is, you know, okay, so this is spanning three days, but... Um, so this could be, you know, uh, this is during the, the next three days, and then this is, you know, maybe after that, just in the, the near future, um, kind of 
are radical changes and in, in, uh, really turning turning yourself around from you know your the past way of thinking or the past way of of being something really radically changes for you and um, there's this this adjustment that happens where uh, I want to say you get back to yourself and and you really adjust and you're kind of ready for this new life here so um, and it's zero factors it's so I I see that this this one is like really wrapping things up here from a, a past uh, situation and going into a, a future you know a new future this this is coming in here and I guess from the time I posted it, it'll be I don't know so around 20 22 23 24 we have this um, radical change coming in and then um, our healing is just to, to really make the most of our moments you know just keep keep everything really positive keep ourselves happy focus on the positive you know um, I I just had kind of a rough couple days with some you know stupid stuff I had to deal with with stupid people that want to you know be little bratty people or whatever you know I mean it's just like you have to deal with the the kindergartners that misbehave in the adults I'm, I'm not my kindergarten's awesome it's, I'm talking about adults here <laughs> but you know I mean the the whole thing is that you know people have their little you know fits or problems or dramas and they want to you know just be weirdos and you gotta you gotta deal with it and and it might uh, you know you stress you out a little bit but at the same time I was just really loving my friends I you know there's a person I fancy that is just beautiful and uh, there is uh, just you know wonderful things in my life I, I I'm excited about this move to the new house you know a lot of really really good things so it's like well and you know there's so many positive things that the one negative you can't let it get you down you know so it's really about staying just having the emotions that you want you know and really not allowing anything to be present with you that you don't want you know so if, if someone's uh, bothering you really you know put them aside put them put them out of your life you know you don't need to you don't need to let uh, people ru ruin your present moment you know you you decide who's in your present moment you decide what your life is you know you decide what what you surround yourself with and um, you you can make the times of your life you know you just have to choose to um, do everything that makes you feel good and and you know really bring everything you want present and everything you don't want you know don't don't allow it to be in your present or in your presence so then our overall message card here again uh, we just had this uh, I think we had it in the healing position but now it's an overall message card so um, you know I, I just want to say it's reinforcing the healing that ha has happened and when it, really when it's about healing um, it kind of more applies to ourself and then the overall message card is like keep it in mind you know keep it in mind this is in information you'll need for you know the, the span of this reading so um, keeping in mind that uh, everybody who you're you're watching in conflict everybody who's having to deal with the lower animal natures of people know that that the people who are dealing with it know what they're doing they have the skills they have the resources that this is what this is about the psychic or yeah uh, psychological resources you know the psychism the resources of the mind your thirst for knowledge will be answered by mystic thoughts in your subconscious so subconsciously um, you, you know how to manage things you know how to deal with things or people know how to manage things and people know how to deal with things and um, whoever this message is for or whatever this message applies to it's really saying we do have the inner resources to handle 
the things that get thrown at us in life. And, and it's always going to happen. There's always going to be people trying to, you know, throw things at you. So, I mean, until we all have, you know, collective enlightenment and move into utopian state where everybody's awesome and nothing ever bad happens, you know. <laughs> so, but, I mean, in the meantime, we're, we're always going to, you know, uh, because opposites attract, the, all, the, all the, you know, people who want to really move forward in excellence and, you know, live the beautiful, wonderful life of utopian living, you know, these people are just always going to have the lower negative energies being, trying to enter in, trying to, you know, get in your way, trying to take away your happiness, trying to stop you from experiencing the freedom of your life that you deserve and your, you have your rights to. So, um, this is just saying, uh, whoever is dealing with anything, they know how to deal with it. They are protected. They know how to, um, keep their freedom and keep their happiness and keep the problems outside of them and keep this, this, uh, healing state of healing, this, uh, positive emotion, the making of memories. So this is really um, kind of a liberation, a liberation reading where we are liberated from things going wrong, going sideways, going backwards, going opposite, right, than what we expect. Then we have this kind of uh, coming into our own and, um, and, and mer you know, coming forward into a new uh, social group and a new life. So breaking away from an old life, moving into a new life. And this quick radical change that really zero factors things and uh, starts a new cycle and adjust and adjust the, the experience of our life. And then we have uh, the focus here of healing to keep ourselves in a state of healing. Uh, really just focusing on that positive and, and being around the positive people. Don't be around the negative people. Be around the positive people. Be around the people who you enjoy. You know, do the things that you enjoy. Um, you know, make make every day the best day that you can make it. Make every moment the best moment you can make it, and and um, you know, avoid avoid things that make you feel bad. Just fill fill your present up with all the positive, and then um, again, the overall message card is just that uh, people have those resources. They are protected. They have the mental emotional resources to manage and deal with whatever life wants to throw at them. So, anyway, um, I hope everybody got what they needed out of this today, and I will see you again tomorrow, um, and then and then there's going to be a little bit of a break uh, while I get to Australia. So, um, thanks a lot, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.